Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. I've got garlic. So I had picked this garlic maybe a month ago, and I've been letting this dry, which took a lot longer than I thought it would because we've got a pretty humid environment here. In fact, there was a lot of green still on it for quite a long time, but it's finally dry, I'm pretty sure. I'll bring you guys in and I'll show you kind of the, the harvesting process and what I did, uh, how I hung it, and then we're gonna go in and braid these. So let's get to it. A lot of the bottom leaves are dying back and they never form scapes. So from what I was reading, I was supposed to wait until they form scapes before I harvested them and then cut the scapes off. And then you can uh, wait a couple weeks, they'll form bulbs and then you harvest them. However, that never happened. One tried and here's the scape right here. It's trying and nothing happened. I figure it's time to harvest this. It's not looking great. I'm afraid it's gonna rot in the ground. Let's go ahead and get to it. Now with garlic, you wanna get up under it. You don't wanna just rip it out of the ground. You wanna leave those roots attached. So we'll get up under it like so. Pull it up. Looks like it's forming bulbs, but I don't know how those are gonna turn out. So it's gonna rain Sunday and today's Friday, so I've got a day or two of nice hot sunniness. But you wanna leave these out and dry a little bit in the sun. And the reason why you leave those roots intact, I guess it's because the more roots, the more flavor is gonna go into, once this dries, it's gonna push the flavor into the bulbs. Nothing happened there, that just rotted away. Look at that. Boy, that's a good size. All right, so there's the Transylvania. This one is the next one that I was, I thought would be the next best. This is the Ikenacha or something like that. Oh yeah, see, that's real small. I think this was the smaller side. So already I can tell that Transylvania one produced much better. Plant those again next year if we plant anything. I'm gonna leave these out for at least today until tonight. Maybe I'll bring them in for a short time so it doesn't get dew on them in the morning. Bring them back out, let them dry even more. Two days later. And I watched a video <laughs> and then did a little research after watching the video. You're supposed to actually not put them in the sun. You're supposed to hang them in a kind of breezy area without any moisture. So anyway, I hung these here. Uh, so I did leave them in the sun for a couple days. So don't do that, guys. Don't do that. I messed up. I thought it was kind of like onions where you want to leave them out for a little while and then bring them in to, to dry. Instead, uh, you want to just bring these in to dry right away. So you can do them inside, but you need some air, you need some breeze. Um, boy, they're big though. These are some really good size garlic heads. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to have some, some good garlic. I actually already used one. You can see here, these ones were cracked like that. So. I pulled the I pulled one off just like that that was cracked um, split and I've used it and they taste great so um, they're not quite dry so it's a little different uh, trying to peel is a little harder because that paper doesn't you know it's still kind of connected so uh, a couple of these might need to go they look uh, I might need to pull some of those off too because the skin or the the clove is actually exposed on that one I'm pretty happy with these um, so once these get real papery and there's still a little bit of play to them, but once all of it feels like that and all the way down, then I can, I'm gonna try to braid them. I tied these up and I marked them. So I just took a little piece of tape and gave myself a little mark. This is this variety, the Inchellium. I, I don't even know how to pronounce it guys, but basically just kind of marked it when I tied it up. This is what we got. So we've got a couple that I actually clipped off already. I've been using them and we're just going to clean these up, pull off some of the extra. Okay. So lay these out now. Unfortunately, it just started raining. It was clear for the forecast and now it's raining. Now I'm going to look through and if I want to keep any for next year, you'll keep the biggest bulbs. So that would be right there. Those two, that's what I would keep. Um, I'm not keeping this variety for next year. It didn't grow quite as well. Uh oh started pulling up that's this one's a little little soft getting a little moldy in there we're gonna cut off all of the roots now that those have dried there's no use to us anymore so we'll cut them off make them nice and clean 
Incoletum, Incoletum, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then here I've got the Transylvania. I want to keep them separate. I don't want to put them together. But I don't have a, enough here to be able to actually braid. So I'm just going to, if, if you're not going to braid, you can just cut those off. We've still got a little bit of softness in there and some green. So that means they're not ready. Let's see how these are. It's still, still a little soft. So. Not ready. Three weeks later. Ooh, that one got soft. That one's not going to be usable. I can feel it. It's all squishy in there, so that's no good. But some of these are hard, so we're going to pull these out from the twine that I have. That one got squishy. That one got squishy. Shoot. Squishy. That one's hard squishy boy that's interesting I'm, I'm not sure why some of these rotted and others did not squishy that one's good squishy hard well so I said I was gonna braid them but I do not have enough here to braid and honestly this is, is just enough to be able to use, well, at least the two largest here. Well, let's go ahead and start peeling back some of this. So that's unfortunate. I thought we were going to braid it, guys. But there's not enough here to braid. We're just going to cut off all the roots this one might be okay there's a soft spot right there so that one has a soft spot but the rest of these are hard so we'll peel back some of this maybe we can use some of the gloves and uh, put them in the freezer or something we'll see how these go got some rot so yeah look at that that rotted in there so that's unfortunate. I'm going to keep that off. Any of the rotted pieces are gone. But boy, that's some good looking clothes, guys. These are pretty large. So I'm not sure what that is. It's probably some kind of disease that got them. That's unfortunate. All right, so that one's okay. We'll keep this for, it's not long-term storage. I'm gonna use this one right away. But the rest of these, we can start peeling off some of this paper. We're gonna cut it off with a little bit of length. It's feeling pretty good. We're gonna pull off some of the paper. These are pretty good looking large clothes. You know, you live and you learn, you try again. This didn't come out perfect. Not as much as I wanted, but... Well, it's good smelling garlic. This is uh, really strong. And all this I'm gonna send, I'm gonna put in my compost bin. So I got probably five heads, maybe six heads from the previous harvest. All right, well, there we go. Not a lot of garlic, honestly. That's unfortunate, but we'll be able to use this and eat it. And next year we'll try again and get hopefully a bigger harvest. It wasn't super productive guys, but hey, we live, we learn. I figure I show you guys my fails as well as my uh, accomplishments. So this was a fail. We didn't get a whole lot. I was gonna braid it. Sorry guys, didn't get to show you the braiding. Uh, there just wasn't enough here to braid, but um, next year we'll give it a try. And I'll try to plant these a little earlier. I think I planted them a little late. And so when they came up, it was a little too hot for them once they kind of started to mature. So I'll try a little earlier next year, get them in the ground and let them kind of winter out. And we'll harvest them next year. All right, well, thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And definitely check back next year because I'm gonna do another one of these videos on on these garlics here. So I'll try this again. I really like this version. I'll probably just do the Transylvania. Uh, this one, these ones came out large, uh, good looking, uh, good
good looking heads on them real real big and i like that easier for cooking so that's what i'm going to do next year it was a good test so it'll just be all this variety and i'll probably just order a couple a couple sets of those so well i will see you guys in the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind